The summer season is finally here, which means it's time to take out that grill. And joining us this morning is Matt Barkoch, executive chef of South Bar in Birmingham. And he's here to share some special grilling tips that can also work on the stovetop. Chef, welcome this morning. <laughs> it's great. It's perfect for rainy days, which we seem to have a lot of lately. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are we cooking up today? Uh, today we're going to make a simple marinade that goes with chicken, beef, and seafood. So if you knew, if you could put all this together okay. here. Do I need all this oil? Is yep, this just all olive oil? oil? It's just uh, regular olive oil. Okay. And what else do we have here? And we have uh, chopped garlic, okay, black pepper, dry oregano, kosher salt, right. and chili powder. Okay, and, and if you just mix up. that all up, all right, and that just takes a second. It's a pretty powerful marinade, so you don't have to marinate it more than 30 minutes ahead of time. And I should put the chicken in here and let it hang out for a second. Yep, you can put the chicken in there. Okay. And then while that's going, I like to do everything fast since I work in a <laughs> restaurant. We, we like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I take the shallots, I put them in the pan and get those going. Just for a minute. Okay. And then you can add the roasted corn. All of it? All the corn. All right. And I like big chunks. I cut it right off the cob. And those are roasted uh, chopped poblano peppers. White wine? A little bit of white wine. <laughs> the whole thing or just a little? The whole thing. The whole thing, all right. Place it up a little bit. Those are chipotle peppers. All right. And just a pinch of salt and pepper over the whole thing. We'll add the cream in just a minute. Okay. So just kind of brush some of that marinade off, put it okay. right in the pan. All right, here we go. And while we're doing this, tell us about South Bar just a little bit, the vibe and, and what you guys are about. You're in Birmingham. Yep, we're in Birmingham. We're right on Old Woodward. Uh, it's a very cool place. We have a a beautiful patio that people always congregate at. We have a, a dining room where you can have anything from burgers to crab cakes to fillets to, you know, nice desserts. And then we also do a lot of catering, a lot of banquets, and then we have a nightclub that opens at 10 o'clock at night. Wow. And the vibe's a lot about totally different. A little bit of everything, different. exactly. Yep, it's, it's very busy. So what we do with the chicken is that we just brown it. If okay. you're doing it on the grill, you know, one of our little grilling techniques that we do is that we always spray a little uh, pan. You could go ahead and put Storm? the cream okay. in there, and, that, and it won't stick to the grill then. You were telling us also that uh, earlier that you've, you've cooked for some, uh, some celebrities who've come into town. Yeah, you know, with the, with the film industry, Birmingham's turned into a little Hollywood. Yeah, yeah we know. So, <laughs> it's nice. We like it. Yeah. It's nice. It's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven. This is going to cook for about 10 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees. 400, okay. This is what it would look like under normal circumstances. Under normal, but this is, there. this is a little different. Yeah, we've cooked for, uh, we had Demi Moore and Miley Cyrus, which caused a big stir. Oh, yeah, I bet. It took one minute to get on Facebook. <laughs> we saw all the numbers. It was really funny. About 300 people showed up in about 10 minutes. So that was a lot of fun. Gerard Butler made a movie here, so he was a uh, regular. So we get all, you know, sports people, but we also get the regular people, and, and it's a lot of fun. All right. Before we run out of time, we want to make sure we get this on the plate. How long will this have to cook? Well, this just reduced down to sauce consistency. So okay. in a pan, you know, in a large wide pan, which I like to use, it usually takes about 10 minutes, the same amount of time as the chicken. Okay. And then we just take it, and as I said, you could put it over, you know, seafood. You could put it over... Um, Meat, chicken, it's got a lot of nice flavors to it. Looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. It's so this is a final product, product, and this would also be a final product yep. over here. This is uh, the final product if we had just a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> looks great either way. I know, exactly. Can't Can wait to it? dig into that one. <laughs> right. Thank you All so right. much, Chef, for coming in this morning. Well, thank you very much. The recipe will be on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section.